Now that you've been here a little while, I know you're kind of getting your feet wet in spring and learning the players and learning the guys. How's it been just jumping back into it? I know you've got a talent, a lot of talent at your disposal to, to work with this year. Yeah, it's uh, it's been awesome. It's been great to uh, see the energy and the excitement for the fall camp, and and you know it's um, it's great to see them back together compete. It's been a while since I've been around. Uh, yeah. Ryan O'Keefe. Ryan O'Keefe. Like, what, what does he provide? You got an experienced guy. Was a playmaker last year. You've got to work with him firsthand. What does what does he provide for you? You know, he, he he's a steady guy. Doesn't say a whole bunch, but uh, shows shows how important he is to his work ethics. And he kind of sets the tempo how of how you're supposed to work. Because it seems like that guy never gets tired. So uh, it's great to have him just out there leading by example. Kobe Hudson, when we talk, I just talked to him in here a few minutes ago. He said you're his favorite coach that he's ever had. So that's a that's a nice compliment for you. I, you know, I, I should have said that, but but Kobe, I uh, obviously came in the spring, so you've worked with him a little bit. Uh, what has he been? How's he been looking out there? How's he been? Doing? You know, like like all of them, they still they still have things we gotta get better at. We gotta keep improving, and and he's working hard. Uh, for him to say I'm his favorite coach, he's only had one other college coach. So <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> That's just, if I'm the best of the worst or what it is, but no, I, I love being around Kobe. He's fun to be around. Uh, he keeps me on my toes, uh, but he, he's out there working hard and competing. Javon Baker, we've heard a little bit about him. He was out here today at Media Day. We saw some social media clips they put out. He went up and go, you know, 50 50 ball. I think it was Mikey or John Rice when I said, well, they're not really 50 50 balls with him, they're more like 75 25 balls. But uh, Javon, what have you seen in the early going from him? You, you know, he. New system, hadn't yeah. really been here very long, so they're still that little not sure about stuff. Uh, but I, I will say this, the kid loves to compete. Uh, he might do something wrong, but he's going to go do it hard and go, go compete. And so as long as he keeps that mindset and that attitude, we can get better. We can get the plays down. It's only the third day. Uh, you know, train camp, we dump a lot on him at, at really quick, but he's picking it up well. Uh, but just as long as he brings the energy and, 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 and the attitude, we're going to be awesome. What kind of competitions are you seeing within your group? I mean, I know there's guys, some guys with experience. Obviously, Ryan's been around. Some of these other guys, they've never really played for UCF. We know guys like Amari have been here. But what kind of individual uh, competitions are you seeing out there? Uh, you know, what do you want to see answered? It's, it's been awesome because when somebody does something good, they're excited. But you also see them wanting to go out there and try to, you know what, I'm not going to let him outdo me. I'm, I'm going to run this a little hard. I'm going to try to be a little bit better at this. So. Uh, it's been great because iron sharpens iron. So just to see the guys go out there competing against the defense at times, but also competing with the, within our room. And, 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 you know, drops are not acceptable and they hold each other accountable. And it's just, it's been great because that means I don't have to do as much yeah. uh, coaching on the uh, bad stuff. I can yeah. coach the good stuff. I know you got a couple of freshmen, one of them being Quan Lee. Uh, I know he's a young guy and everyone's got to come in and learn. What have you seen from the early going from Quan? He's young, learning. We'll see what happens by the end of camp. Yeah, and Tyler, Tyler Griffin, same way? Same, same That's way. Right. You gotta, yeah. yeah. So what's kind of the, the objective of camp? Are you trying to identify a travel roster? Is that kind of sort of the big picture stuff, a top six or seven? Is that sort of what you're trying to identify? or at the, By the end of camp, right now, just making sure we're, we're doing what we're supposed to do uh, to make the play successful and make the offense successful. Um, and who can take from the meeting room out to the practice field, who can trend, who can learn. Because in the game of football on Saturdays, there's a lot of adjustments that have to happen uh, in the middle of the game. So who can take information and process it, and, and, uh, and who can do the little things right. That's really what I'm looking for right now. And then as we get later on in camp, figure out who uh, gives us the best chance to win. As a, as a guy who's been on the same field as Dante Culpepper, what was it like kind of having him come back and talk to the team the other night? Was that kind of cool? It was kind of cool. Uh, you know, I, I got to talk to him a little bit before he spoke to the team, and I asked him if he remembered that 97 game. Uh, and <laughs> did he? I, he did, yeah, okay. and, and I remember it because I, I remember we should have probably lost the UCF. Um, and I didn't realize how big he was until he stepped off on the field. Uh, but they were awesome. He's a great human being. I'm glad he got to come speak. And, and uh, I hope our, our, our kids listen to him because he had a bunch of words of wisdom. Yeah, I know Yusuf's obviously had a lot of recruiting success this summer. I was asking Addison a minute ago how his recruitment went like. He went to South Carolina. You went to Ole Miss. What was your recruitment like? Those of you weren't doing hat, were you doing hat ceremonies? No, I, I, I'm, I'm old. You know, <laughs> nobody knew who, who was in the recruiting class. Nobody. You got a little small little clip in your in my little town newspaper, and, and that was it. And until you reported to school, you didn't you didn't know who was in your, who was going to show up. So. 
Where, where are you from originally? Uh, Lake Jackson, Texas. Okay. Which so. is uh, 45 minutes south of Houston. Okay, so uh, what kind of what, what other schools were you considering? Did Ole Miss kind of come find you, or did you have a connection uh, there? Or? Well, I have a brother that's brother? a year older. <laughs> so he was was he already and, there? And he went to Ole Miss. Uh, okay. I wanted to go to Vandy, but you know I didn't really like Nashville at the time. <laughs> I like Nashville now. I didn't like it. Now. <laughs> so what's it been like recruiting with this staff? Uh, obviously, Houston's had a lot of success this summer. Uh, getting ready to go to the Big Twelve in a year has been a, a good response from the recruits you've been talking. It about. has, you, you know. Uh, Whiteouts, as everybody knows, especially you, you know, Whiteouts, they commit, they decommit. <laughs> different guys. Different, you know, and there's a bunch of good ones out there just trying to make sure we get the right ones that fit what we want, fit our program, fit, our, fit the uh, goals we're trying to achieve. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll get the right ones here and we'll, we'll in the right time. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank